safari hii ya kubadilisha Kenya hatutaki kurudisha Kenya mahali pa kugawanyika na ukabila na siasa chafu nini mnaelewa wakati tulitoka siasa duni ya ukabila 2007-2008 mweshimiwa uhuru kenyata rafiki yangu na mimi tuliketi chini na tukasema lazima tubadilishe msingi wa siasa ya Kenya tuondoe siasa ya ukabila na chuki na migawanyiko tuweke siasa ya sera ya maendeleo na kubadilisha maisha ya wakenya na hatukurudi nyuma ni kwa sababu ya hiyo msingi tulikubaliana na mheshimiwa uhuru kenyata na wakati mimi niliamua ya kwamba nitamuunga mkono mheshimiwa uhuru kenyata awe rais wa nne wa jamhuri ya kenya watu wengi wakiwemo wale walikuwa mazishi jana waliniambia ya kwamba hakuna vile wewe unaweza kuunga mkono uhuru kenyata kwa sababu yeye alikuwa eti ni mkikuyu kama mwai kibaki ambaye alikuwa ofisini lakini niliwaeleza siku hiyo na ninawaeleza hata na leo ya kwamba niliunga mkono mheshimiwa uhuru kenyata sio kwa sababu ya kabila yake sio kwa sababu alikuwa anawakilisha kabila yake ni kwa sababu mimi na yeye tuliketi chini tukakubaliana kwa sera ya kuweka maendeleo Kenya hii ya barabara na reli na kuunganisha stima na kujenga technical training college na kuweka maji katika taifa letu la Kenya ndio Kenya iwe bora kuliko vile ilivyokuwa wakati huo hiyo ndio sababu niliunga mkono mheshimiwa uhuru kenyata na nilimuunga mkono nikijua ya kwamba mwai kibaki alikuwa ofisini na ilikuwa ni makusudi ndio tuweze kuondoa siasa ya ujinga ya kuweka watu katika mirengo ya kabila mimi nataka niwaulize hatuwezi na nataka nirudie hatuwezi kurudi katika siasa ya ukabila Kenya hii itapiga hatua ya kwenda mbele kila kiongozi kama unatafuta MCA kama unatafuta mjumbe ama governor ama senator ama women rep ama rais usitafute uongozi kwa sababu ya kabila yako hauwezi kuwa kiongozi eti kwa sababu unawakilisha kabila yako tafuta uongozi kwa sera na ajenda yale utafanyia wa Kenya wa Kenya watachagua sera sio kabila na mimi nataka niwapatie free advice wale wote ambao wanaota ndoto eti watatembea na kabila yao eti watatuuzia ati wao wana represent kabila yao ya kwamba wa Kenya wamechanuka na wa Kenya wanataka kujua sera ni gani ideas uko nazo kama uko na track record ndio waweze kukuchagua so mimi nawauliza kwa sababu nasikia sasa tumeanza tena eti kurudi nyuma kuongea mambo ya makabila sisi wote mimi William Ruto nikiweko tunatafuta uongozi sio kwa sababu ya kabila yako ama kwa sababu unawakilisha kabila yako ni kwa sababu either uko na sera uko na mpango ama kama huna basi wananchi hawa watajua vile wataamua tunaelewana jameni na mimi nataka niseme hivi ya kwamba saa hizi kuna msukosuko kuna watu kuna matatizo 
watu wamechanganyikiwa kwa sababu tumesema lazima tubadilishe mazungumzo na mjadala katika taifa letu la Kenya tumesema hivi na watu wengi saa hizi wame, wale ambao wamezoea kutuuzia ukabila saa hizi wamepata wasiwasi kwa sababu biashara yao ya ukabila na bei ya ukabila Kenya imepungua na hasara itapatikana kwa biashara yao kwa sababu wa Kenya hawataki kuuziwa ukabila tena wanataka kuuziwa sera na wanataka kujua maisha yao itabadilika vipi changamoto walizonazo itashughulikiwa vipi na uko na mpango ya kushughulikia mahitaji yao na changamoto zao na uko na suluhu ya yale mambo yanahitaji ama wewe unatuuzia tu kabila yako na mambo ma, ma, na mambo duni ya kusema wewe unatoka sehemu fulani mimi nataka niseme hivi kwa marafiki zetu hii mjadala lazima tutabadilisha mujipange mkuwe tayari kwa sababu nyinyi mnataka kutuuzia mambo ya makabila mahasla wa Kenya hawana biashara na makabila wanataka kujua biashara yao ya kuuza mboga ama ya boda boda ama ya kiosk ama ya saloon ama hiyo ingine itaendelea namna gani they have no business na mambo ya makabila jambo la pili msituambie tutakuwa tunaongea mambo ya viongozi na interest zao lazima katika hiyo mjadala tuongee mambo ya wananchi na mahitaji yao na shida zao jambo la tatu hamuwezi kutuambia tutaongea mambo ya mamlaka na vile viongozi watagawana mamlaka vile vile katika hiyo meza lazima tuongee mambo ya mwananchi mdogo empowerment ya mwananchi mdogo opportunity ya mwananchi mdogo na biashara yake atafanya biashara vipi atasaidiwa kufanya biashara vipi wakati viongozi wanazungumzia mambo ya kugawana mamlaka jambo la nne vile wanataka tuongee mambo ya vyeo na vile viongozi watagawana vyeo sijui prime minister sijui deputy prime minister sijui rais na hiyo ingine lazima pia tuongee mambo ya kazi kwa mamilioni ya vijana wa taifa la Kenya ambao hawana matumaini kwa hivyo jameni tuvumiliane kwa sababu lazima tuongee hii maneno na tunasema ya kwamba haja yetu ni kuhakikisha ya kwamba katika meza mahali mambo ya Kenya inajadiliwa itazungumzwa mambo ya wale lakini pia mambo ya wananchi lazima izungumzwe pale na hiyo meza lazima itotoshe sisi wote kila mtu lazima akue, akue katika hiyo meza tunaelewana jameni iko makosa tukisema sisi wote tuketi katika meza moja na hii si kuchochea mtu hii si kuchochea watu hii ni kusema ukweli ya kwamba kama mambo ya viongozi itazungumzwa mambo ya wananchi izungumzwe kama mambo ya mamlaka itazungumzwa mambo ya empowerment ya wananchi izungumzwe kama mambo ya vyeo itazungumzwa mambo ya kazi kwa vijana izungumzwe hiyo ndio Kenya sisi tunataka kuna makosa jameni tukienda barabara hiyo and that is why we are saying to our friends we cannot degenerate we cannot go back when i supported uhuru kenyatta it was not because of his tribe it was not because he represented any tribe it was because we agreed on an agenda and on a program that would transform this nation and i supported uhuru kenyatta when president kibaki was in office many of the people who were talking yesterday they were the ones who were telling me you cannot support another kikuyu and i told them i am not supporting uhuru kenyatta because of his tribe i am supporting uhuru kenyatta because we have a plan that would transform this nation they were telling me that you cannot support 
Uhuru Kenyatta because he is not only a Kikuyu, but he is also the son of a former president. But that is not what we are looking for. We are looking for how to change this nation. And therefore, I want to tell them, my friends, you better be prepared for the new conversation we are going to have in Kenya. Don't tell us about tribes. We want to have a conversation about every hustle. Don't tell us that we are going to discuss power. Yes, as we discuss power to be shared by the big boys and by the leaders, we must also have a conversation about empowerment and opportunity for ordinary people to chase their dreams as well. And you cannot tell us we are going to have a conversation about positions only. Prime Minister, I don't know, President and the rest. We must have a conversation, a serious conversation about millions of people who do not have jobs. And when are they going to have jobs? Every family has two to three young guys who have finished school, but they have no jobs. It is their time for us to have a conversation about them also. And therefore, when we say, for the first time in Kenya, we are going to have a conversation that will involve everybody, an inclusive conversation, don't drive us the narrative of exclusion, of telling us about tribes and tribal chiefs. My friends, hiyo watu wajinga wameisha Kenya haiwezekani tena. We are going to have a conversation, an inclusive conversation, and all cards will be on the table. Nobody is, not, is going to be absent. And the table is, is big enough for all of us to sit and have an honest national conversation about everybody. And that is what I am saying. That is what the Hustler Nation is saying. The Hustler Nation is saying this country belongs to all of us and we must all sit at the table where the, we are going to have a honest national conversation. And let me say this for the record. It is not a must. It is not a condition that William Ruto or anybody must be president. But it is a must that we must all sit on the table. It is not negotiable. It is not negotiable that we can continue to have an exclusive conversation about few people and about some tribes and about some leaders. We are going to have a honest national conversation. And that is what the Hustler Nation is about. It is not a threat to anybody. It is not incitement of any nature. We are just going to have a honest conversation, all of us, on a table so that we can agree on how to move Kenya forward.